Hey, so good evening guys how are we all doing guys how's everyone hope we are all good we are fine <laughs> yes guys <laughs> yes so guys sorry guys um i just want to share this just an advice and encouragement for everyone and um, it's just a topic saying that um, sorry for my voice i'm just a kind of you know like a little bit tired i want to sleep but i said let me quickly share this to advise us to encourage us you know i can tell one or two person might pick a point in this okay people yes it's all it's all about um how i would say the topic is there are things you are not supposed to give check second chance to okay guys there are things you are not supposed to give it a second chance you understand me guys so let's quickly go there and drop it. Yes, so um in life a lot a lot of things happen, things they happen every day, every time. You know, life itself is a lesson, is a teacher. You keep on learning every day, every time thing one thing one will be no more, you understand? Thing one is not alive again. I pray may each and every one of us enjoy our labor. We should all be alive to see our children, children, children enjoy. And uh, a lot of good is to come to us. We should not die in our early age. We should only go when the time comes, when God will call us the appropriate time. Yes, so, so life, like I said, is a teacher. In this, my message, you will pick a lot of... Sorry, guys. <laughs> my baby, yeah, he's with me. He likes to sleep with me first before I put him in his bed. Yeah. You understand? So that is it. Life himself is a big teacher. So my point is this. It is not everything you give a second chance to. There are things that will happen in the world or around you or with you and your friends or relationship or family or whatever. Yes, my people. You will say yes, so this thing just happened like this. So I beg you. I don't forgive, I don't forget. You know, last time, some days ago, I treat about forgiveness also. I even said it, that forgiveness is not really so easy. Of course, it's easy in some cases, but there are some deep things somebody will do to you or some people will do to you. It won't be easy for you to just forget and forgive, you understand? It will be very, very difficult to forgive and forget because of the scars or the mark that you will see, see. In you, it might be a physical scars. It might be the one that is not physical, like a spiritual one, or in your body, internal scars, you know. Internal scars are those ones that you will not see. Nobody will see it. Or is in your body, I mean, like internal bleeding, something like that. You know, sometimes you, someone will go to hospital, they'll say, oh, he or she is having internal bleeding. You know? He's having internal bleeding in his body, in his say your leg and or whatever but it's not showing yeah but it's painting him or her at these eternal scars then the one that is alternate scar is the alternate scars is the one everybody will see the mark will be there Our people will see it look at this mark oh. this mark is in my body oh. it's in my hand it's in my palm everybody they see him oh, you understand this that is the one that is outside, outside, the inside one, you won't see it. So, that is why I say it's not really easy to forgive and forget somebody, uh, forgive people. 
depend on the scars, depend on what happened. If the thing is really, really a big scars, a big mark in your body or outside your body, it's not easy for you to forgive because you will always see that mark and say, oh my God, this mark every day, every time I feel it, I see it, you know. And on that thing again, you can still forgive, but you can never forget. You can never forget. And on that thing again, there are some people that forget and forget easily. That is what I've learned. Life is a lesson. We grow and learn every day. There are some individuals, there are some people, they will just, anything, if you just tell them, sorry, okay, don't do that. They will just quickly forgive you and say, okay, man, no problem now. I've forgiven you. It's okay. It is weird because I don't really, I mean, I want to get it off me. I don't want to be thinking about it any longer. It's gone now. It's gone. You know, you understand? So, like that. So, there are some people that will forget and forgive. Why? There are some people, they will never forget and forgive. Some people will never forget and forgive. They will just think it and think and think and think. Say for that notice, they will not like to forgive and forget. They will say no, never. Some will say no, I don't forgive you. I'm forgiving you. It will really go from your heart. Why some will use their mouth to say I'm forgiving you, but it will never go away from their heart, from their mind. They will never forgive or forget. You understand? Hope you guys are understanding my point or what I'm trying to say. I mean, some people, they will forgive and forget easily. Why some are not born to forgive and forget? Yes, if you watch through social media, say, you see, see some people saying it, they will say, hey, as you see me, so I know they forgive you. I know they forgive, I know they forget. You understand? Some people are like that. They will say they are mighty. Of course, a lot of people, a lot of us are like that. Why some, they will say, okay, I forgive you, I forgot him. So that is it. So the point is this again. It is not all things that you give a check on a second chance to. For example, I'm just making different, uh, I, I will make a little reference or different example. For example, now you will just see somebody, the person will just say, hey, I promise you, to, I promise to give you this one, to give you that one. And at first, when it's, he or she is promising you, you will believe and, and just, yes, this person is a nice person, I believe him, I believe her. You understand? Maybe at the end of the day, he or she will not do the promise. He will fulfill a promise or his promise. Maybe, for example, he promise, uh, let me say, for instance, he promise you some money like 100 euro. But at the end of the day, he or she will not give you 50 euro. I mean, he didn't give you the 100 euro completely. You will see, say, oh, this person promised me, oh, but he has given me part of it, but still, mm, I trust him, or I like him, or I like her, or whatever, you know, like that. Then later again, after some time again, he or she will still promise you again. At the end of the day, if he or she promised you, he or she did not, you know, fulfill the promise, he still tell you, don't worry now. At first, didn't I try? Didn't I give you what I said I want to give you? Though it was not completed, this is the second time I will give you. Just have some patience, you understand? At the end of the day, you won't have that trust to give for that person. Your trust will just fail from the person and say, I beg you, this one, no, I'm not sure, say, go, you see, don't. Maybe we do, maybe we will not do it better. I, 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 I'm not sure. And secondly, in you, you will not say no. Or before then, the person might not beg you or rather still give you part of what he or she promised you again. Not the full promise again, always doing it half half. In your mind, later on, you will not be thinking because maybe a kind of, you will not be a kind of, you didn't trust the person again. And secondly, you are a little bit angry with that person, which the person will not notice that you are angry with him or her. Then at the end of the day, the person will be telling you, forget, it has passed now, those things don't pass and don't worry. This time, just trust me again. The question is, will you really trust that person? And will you really give the person second chance again? I mean, yes, at first you give the person first chance. That yes, everything is okay. He will do or she will do this promise. 
yes, whatever, but look at the way he or she now fulfilled the promise. At the end of the day, my question or my point is, after the person has pet you, okay, it's okay, now it's okay, don't worry. Just forgive me for that one. It was not my fault, but this, that, blah, blah, blah. Will you not really give that person that second chance again? In some cases, second chance are not to be, you know, are not needed again. In some cases, you don't have to give that second chance because if you give a second chance, you might still do more than that tomorrow, worse than that tomorrow. Promise you ever not at the end of the day, he or she will not fulfill it. Or even if you want to fulfill it, he will not still give you, for example, out of 100 euro uh, that he promised you, he will not still go and give you 2 euro or 1 euro. So that is just one of the examples. Which, there are a lot of examples. Another example again, which I want to treat again, which is very, very important also. Very, very important example because, yes. For example, also in a relationship, if you require in a relationship, or whatever, you have kids for the person or so on, and the person, or let me say the man, you have kids for the man, both of you are in a, yeah, your husband or your boyfriend or whatever. At the end of the day, the person is just doing you something that's, it, 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 that, that is hurting you and your children. I mean, like, for example, the person is going to report you so that they will take your children away from you, all those stuff. I mean, the man. At the end of the day, you will not fight the issue, fight the case. They will give you your children back. So the question is, later on, the man will not be begging again. Okay, sorry, it was a mistake. And I was just somehow carried away. And secondly, this, that, blah, blah, blah. You know all those things. The question is, will you only give that person a second chance again? That is my point. That is what the point I'm really going to. That is the advice or encouragement that I really want to talk to you guys about. You understand? A lot of encouragement, a lot of uh, whatever, what is it called? A lot of examples, a lot of illustra Ill illustration. So, but I just want to, you know, based on this illustration, if you are with someone and the person is reporting you, report even if you have kids or not, reporting you or like sending the people to you, like all those police people, sorry. Yeah, you know, sorry guys, all those uh, police people reporting you to police people for no reason or out of jealousy or out of he knows everything more than you. Or out of the fact that he wants you to be in pain, to be in problem for you to be hurt. I mean, yeah, you understand. At the end of the day, maybe God will still rescue you. God will still help you because you might not be a bad person. You are not a bad person. You are just a good person. But God is still fighting for you no matter the plans they are having for you. The evil plan the enemy is having for you. You understand all the... Is it your husband or whatever is having for you? But God is still turning it back. It's grace in there. You, you are still winning the battle. At the end of the day, when they will say that they have lost and you are still winning the battle, everything is where you know they will not be begging. Saying, hey, please, I want to come back. I want to still be in the family or be your friend. And I was carried away and because it was a mistake. It was whatever. And it was not my fault. I was just carried away, or I was drunk, or I was this, I was blah, blah, blah. Excuse me, my people, will you not give that person a second chance again because it's your baby father, or because it's your husband, will you? A lot of stories, or a lot of illustrations, a lot of examples. You know, a lot, I'm just making all this example. And it's still like, for example, you bring a, a, a man from Nigeria, you guys marry. After I come here, finish the man. At the end of the day, they will not tell you, I beg you are too fat, I don't want again. Eh, no, you are too slim, I don't want you again. Or oh, no, you are not neat enough. Or oh, you are a nagging wife, I'm tired of you. You are you are this, you are that. But when you were doing the process, uh, fighting for him, doing your best, working and doing things, going to work, suffering, doing to going to work to make sure he come and meets you. See, the same thing applies to a woman to be a man, fight for a woman to come to the Europe, 
bring the woman to the you to, to Europe to here. At the end of the day, the woman will not realize, say, I bet this man safe. He can't even, you know, really do it when in bed with me. I'm fed up, I'm tired. I beg, I don't even want to again. That time, the woman, the man will not be asking you, why didn't you tell me all this one first before you, when we are in Nigeria? Why did you now, you know, after you have come to Europe, now that you want to now dump me? The woman will not even tell you some women, some bored women. Yes, yeah, so of course, so why not go, why go tell you? Why I go tell you? You may when we not you may yeah. Why I go tell you? So say I go tell you may for both me. I not tell you because you will not dump me. I want to come to Europe first before I will tell you. You think I don't need help? Like I don't need it. I don't want to say come to Europe the way you are in Europe. You know some women or some men they are devil themselves. In short, it's not a joke. Devil are learning from their hand. I mean some people devil they devil they pick points for their hand. Yeah, you're saying devil, devil, wicked. Of course, devil, wicked. But sometimes devil self, himself, in the battle our style. In the battle of people's style. Because the way that they did, the way that they be, or kai be, or kai heli. The way that they brutal, in short. <laughs> devil, they learn. Devil, they go to school for their hand, not be liable. So at the end of the day, they will tell you, eh. Hey, you don't want me to come to Europe. I came to Europe because I want to be here first before I will tell you. You think I want to lose or you think you will abandon me that after you've promised me I pray. Oh, you think I don't have sense. I will come to Europe first. When I reach Europe, I will not tell you say I don't want to get yes. That pain is too much now. At the end of the day, that is why I'm making different examples, different illustrations. At the end of the day, the man or the woman will not find his or her way. He will move on. Or for example, let me say the man will not move on with his life and say, okay, since you have left me, you've dumped me. After I've brought you for all the way from Nigeria to Europe, it's now you want to come and dump me, no problem. No problem, I leave you with God. The man will not find his life working and doing his things, trying to plan his life again, you know, arranging his life again, all those things. Though his heart is having that injury in him, that internal bleeding is in him, maybe my might get high blood pressure or whatever because of the pressure you put to him you understand and i'll be taking peace every day because of the pressure you put to him because it's not easy at the end of the day the man will still manage it's like you fall the man down the man fall down but he try to struggle again and get up again to say where well, the downfall of a man is not the end of his life let me just move on and continue so this woman she really do me like this after i brought her to to, 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 to Europe, no problem, let me move on, I can't kill myself and I can't kill her, life goes on, let me just pick the broken pieces of my heart together again, and uh, yeah, try to arrange my life again, guess what people, after the man has tried by himself to get up and pick his broken pieces of his heart together again, not, we are not talking about one day, one year, maybe we might be taking, talking about five years ago or seven years ago before we pick his broken pieces of his heart together again now that he has picked them together he has started afresh again things is still going well the woman will not come back again after years maybe like four years five years seven years i'll be begging because by now she might be frustrated because she did all those things you know this life karma is a bitch evil that men do always live within them it is not before you say hey evil that men do live after them or if you know if the if the evil not disturb the man he will go disturb his children. And if you don't disturb the woman, his children go to suffer and allow big lie, black lie. Right now, if that man do lives within them, he live within them, he live inside them. So they do the evil. Before that, before three years or five years, seven, two, almost seven years, that person almost told me a big Sorry, baby, my baby. Almost told me a big Sorry, people. You understand? You understand? So that is it. At the end of the day, the man, the woman will not come back again. Eh, eh, eh. I'm sorry now. Nah. Please forgive me now. Nah. It was a mistake now. Nah. I said me bad. You might be crying. The same thing applies to a man. No? Eh, don't get it wrong. Okay. So I'm just saying on this side and on this. It's in both sides, not only my side. Even on my side, you understand? So at the end of the day, when I be saying, Hey, please forgive me now. Nah. Set me back. Nah. It was a mistake now. Nah. 
a mistake. Now you understand all those kind of things. So that is it. That is the question. Will you just, you know, accept that person back and give that person second chance again? Will you? Will you? I don't know. A lot of people will know. If, it, if a lot of people have different opinion, you can comment it below. You can comment, connect, uh, sorry, you can comment it below. And uh, everyone that will come across this video will see, have a point. So please share and like this video. Like and share, share, share. And comment as well. And please, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Lady B TV, who is perfect. Please, guys, let's support the shoulder and follow me on my page as well. Betty Seabor page. God bless you all. God bless you all. Let's support the shoulder. You might get some points in some few things that I say. The one that gets no points, I mean, the one that are no sense, throw it away. The one that will make sense, take it and use it. The same thing applies to you. You can still comment and encourage me and advise. You know, throw your advice there. For people to see, see people will still go through the comments, they will still pick some points. Even me, I will still pick some points in your comments, of course. No one is perfect, everybody have opinion. You understand? So they depend and a uh, majority when they raise, you know. So I will throw that question to you guys. What will you do if you are in the show? Will you accept the woman back? Will you? Will you accept the man back? For me, let me quickly drop my own before. What you people will make your comments for me. I won't accept that person back again. I won't accept that man back, not because of, of wickedness, but guess what? Because of I don't know what will happen again tomorrow. I don't know what he will plan again tomorrow. I don't know if I accept him. I don't know what is his next plan. You understand? His plan might even take the life of my enemy or the life of my children or whatever. So for that reason, I will say, okay, just go go your way. Let me go my way. Let life, life goes on. It's better. Life goes on. God will definitely do his own. You know, give me the best. And I still know that maybe God will see. I don't know. For you too, I don't know what God will do with you. But for me, I know God will give me the best. You understand? So like that. Like that, my people. For me, I was a such man again in my life. Because after you do that thing to me, I bring you from Africa to Europe. You now run away at the end of the day, telling me I am a naggy wife. I'm this, I'm that, I'm that, I'm blah blah blah. You didn't see all those naggy. You didn't see uh, before before I brought you to Europe. You didn't you didn't notice that I was naggy. You didn't notice that I was slim. You didn't notice that I was too fat or I was too slim or I was too this. But after you now succeeded in coming to Europe, you would not tell it to my face and say, I beg you, you knock too much self. You too fat self or you too slim self or you too this one self. Because of all those things, I don't want a girl you talk too much, you do this, blah, 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 you know. Then you will come be like, like frustrated by enemy. And at the end of the day, after I have pick up my broken pieces of my heart together again, to put them together for years or time, of course, yes, because if one fall, it is not easy to get up again. Even if you get up, you must start from somewhere from scratch again and begin your life again. So this crash or this life or whatever, it will, it will not just take you six months. Sometimes, most times it's more than one year, two years, three years before you rise and try to climb again. You guys understand what I'm trying to say? So for that reason, as for me, I will never accept such person back because if I should accept such person back, the one he will go to, he's going to do next, the next plan. Hey, again, the next plan. And any shots, only God and I can know. Take bomb on you. Yes, so that is why we have to avoid it sometimes. We have to avoid it. It's not, it doesn't mean that this person is too wicked. This person is devilish. Of course, it's in the Bible, forgive and forget. There are some cases you will forgive. Finally, there are some cases you cannot forgive. It's not easy to forgive. How can you bring somebody from Europe? from nigeria to europe the person will just run and leave you then after you have arranged and managed to put yourself together i give that's on yes the person will not come back again and say hey, please forgive me then you to just open the door and say okay enter house i forgive you it's gone now excuse me excuse me brother sister if you do such thing i accept that person <laughs> in short now <laughs> now why you want to come by that person at the end yes so if person if you get that wicked mind 
Say leave you, forget this offer where you don't suffer for now. For it to bring you come Europe. At the end of the day, he come both you, call it tell you say so na so. At the end of the day, come one may come back again. That and buy one, buy your enemy. So I rest my case right now because yes, it's too late. I have to sleep. Good night, people. Share the video, like this video, share, 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 and like and follow. Please and comment as well. Your comments will be of help. Your like is of help. Your your viewing and everything will be of help to me, to us. Let's support each other, guys. Please, guys, let's support each other. Let's support each other. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for, sister, brother? Subscribe. Press the notification button. And as you do so, God bless you. Share and like the video. Comment. Also, don't forget to comment. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night, people. Bye.